Okay. So I have nothing to disclose. Uh, uh, before going into the uh, depth uh, of my uh, talk, uh, I would like to mention some important points in the history of uh, robotic simple prostatectomy. Uh, it was uh, first described by um, uh, Dr. Uh, Sotelo and his colleagues when they uh, published uh, their um, feasibility uh, study um, as an abstract, uh, which included seven patients. Uh, before that, laparoscopic uh, simple prostatectomy was already uh, in practice, uh, and it was actually... Uh, increasing in popularity until the year 2018, uh, 2008, sorry, where the uh, robotic simple prostatectomy was described by Dr. Uh, Sotello. Then laparoscopic uh, approach started to uh, uh, decrease with time. Uh, this was actually reflected uh, on the publications where, as you can see, uh, the uh, laparoscopic uh, publications were increasing until again the year 2008 uh, when the robotic approach was introduced. Um, several authors followed uh, Sotello and published their um, series. Um, as you can see, the mean operative time of these studies was uh, 187. Uh, hospital uh, stay was uh, around 2.6. Uh, catheterization time uh, around 6. Uh, blood loss was 300 and transfusion rate was uh, uh, 2%. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the approach started or continued to gain popularity until uh, uh, last year uh, in the AOA guidelines where it stated that clinicians should consider open laparoscopic or robotic assisted prostatectomy uh, depending on their expertise for larger prostates. Now, when comparing HOLIP and uh, robotic uh, simple prostatectomy, uh, there are uh, important aspects that should be looked at uh, to decide or assess uh, the superiority of one uh, technique over the other. Um, this uh, is a, um, a systematic review from Italy which uh, assessed the, um, uh, the outcome of robotic uh, simple prostatectomy uh, versus the open technique and both showed equivalent functional outcomes and complications but the robotic um, uh, technique was had a shorter uh, uh, length of stay and less bleeding and need for CBI. This is a meta-analysis actually uh, that assists the uh, holmium uh, in relation to the open uh, approach. Again, functional outcomes uh, and complications were comparable. Uh, the open approach was uh, shorter, uh, had shorter operative time. Uh, uh, operative uh, approach also uh, had a greater tissue removal, but the HOLIP was superior in terms of uh, catheterization time and hospital stay. This is uh, another study uh, that is different from the study that uh, was shown by Dr. Kandari. Uh, and it was a retrospective study uh, assessing uh, around 80 uh, patients of robotic prostatectomy to 45 patients of HOLIP. Uh, the, um, the average uh, posset volume was uh, 130 grams. And uh, despite the fact that the robotic uh, 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 group uh, were more likely to have stone removed uh, and diverticular repaired during the procedure, the operative time was uh, comparable between the two groups. Uh, functional outcomes were similar. Uh, the only difference uh, is in the catheterization time and length of stay, which was uh, bitter in the HOLIP group. Uh, complications uh, were uh, also comparable, but uh, uh, trans, uh, transient uh, uh, urinary incontinence uh, was more with a HOLIP group. Now, the reoperation uh, rate uh, uh, has been looked at, uh, whether related to residual adenoma, uh, to bladder neck contracture, or the urethral stricture. Um, it has been assessed uh, in relation to several factors, including prostate volume and operative time. And it was noticed that in the HOLIP uh, uh, um, uh, patients, 
uh, process volume and operative time was in, uh, an independent, uh, they both were independent factors in predicting uh, the reoperation because of these reasons, uh, meaning the larger the prostate and the longer the operative time, uh, the more risk of having residual adenoma, bladder neck contracture, or urethral stricture, especially we're talking about prostates more than 150 grams. Uh, the, the, now, when talking about the robotic simple prostatectomy, uh, the reoperation rate uh, 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 was uh, less than the uh, the um, the Holub uh, group, and in addition, uh, no patient uh, had. Um, uh, residual adenoma or no residual adenoma was reported in the uh, robotic simple prostatectomy group in this series, which include, which is actually the largest uh, series, including uh, more than 400 or near 500 patients. And also, the rate of urethral stricture was uh, was less uh, uh, in comparison with the holub. Now, uh, the learning curve has always been an issue with the holub. Uh, and this has been addressed and acknowledged by uh, the late uh, El Hilali uh, when they um, uh, published um, uh, this uh, uh, study and they um, assessed the uh, learning curve to be uh, around 50 cases in order to see an improvement of the enucleated tissue and the total energy used. Now the learning curve of the robotic simple prostatectomy uh, has been uh, reported uh, uh, to be around 10 to 12 uh, cases to see an improvement or plateau of the uh, uh, blood loss and the tissue removal. And there is another study also, which I did not bring here, that reported like five cases. Now, regarding the coast, uh, back to this study from Italy, which uh, uh, assessed the cost of uh, robotic simple prostatectomy to the open approach, and they found, of course, higher operative charges with the robotic approach, but these charges were actually offset by the shorter hospitalization and uh, the less bleeding and the less need of, uh, uh, of uh, bladder irrigation. Uh, the cost of the holub uh, uh, also was assessed in this study and uh, this study from uh, Al Mansura, which was uh, uh, published in the World Journal of Urology, uh, which showed uh, nearly similar uh, uh, cost in the first three months, including the readmissions and all this, uh, all the the, uh, the complications that might happen in the, uh, the post-operative period. So, in conclusion. HOLIP, uh, although it's less invasive, it has a steeper learning curve uh, as compared to the uh, robotic simple prostatectomy. Both procedures seem to have uh, uh, comparable uh, financial outcomes, according to what, what I showed. Uh, HOLIP is more likely to cause transient uh, urinary incontinence. Um, an extra advantage of the robotic approach is when there is uh, bladder stone or diverticula. Uh, robotic simple prostatectomy is an attractive option where there is a robotic program existing. Uh, uh, more studies are required to compare the cost of both uh, procedures. And thank you. <laughs>